solve quadratic equation by factoring it. Example number four. So in this case, I still have an equation, but I have like parentheses and I have a 5x in front of the parentheses. I have this two in front of this parentheses. So what we should um, do at first is just multiply the 5x inside of the parentheses. I will distribute the 5x here and then distribute the 5x with a negative 6. 5x times x, that gives us 5x squared. 5x times negative 6, that's negative 30x equals to, I have the 2 in front of this parentheses, so I will do the same as well. 2 times x is just 2x. And then 2 times uh, positive 8, that's plus 16. And also let me bring down the plus 6x. Okay. Then, our goal is to get one side is equal to 0, and then so that we can try to factor the other side. Um, let's combine it here, and then collect everything to the left hand side. I see that we have 2x here and 6x there, so that we can write this as 8x plus 16. And the left hand side stays the same, 5x squared minus 30x. So because they are on the same, uh, they are on the same side, I can just combine like terms, I get 8x. And if I want to move the ax to the other side, I will have to subtract 8x here, subtract 8x here, Cancel here, and then I also have a positive 16 here. Let me subtract the positive 16 as well. So subtract 16, just like this. Okay, so I have 5x squared, negative 30x minus 8x is negative 38x. And then um, I have the negative 16, it's equal to zero. So then let's see you have 5x squared is it's 5x squared minus 38x minus 16 is equal to 0. And let's think about how can we factor this? Well, we may not be able to get this correctly um, the first try because 16 has a lot of factors. But we'll try. It will take us a few times maybe. So to get 5x squared, I know just one choice, right? Five why one combinations? 5x times x gives us the 5x squared. But then to get negative 16, I can do uh, 4 times negative 4. And maybe let's just give it a try. If I put down a 4 right here and then put down a negative 4 right there, 5x times negative 4, that will be negative 20. And then 4 times x is 4x. I have no way to get negative 38 with this combination. So I'm not going to do with this combination. I'm going to try with 8 and 2, but I need negative 16, so let me try negative 8 here. And the reason for me to try that is, so that I can try to have 5 times, um, 5x times negative 8, that will be negative 40x. And then here, the 2 times x is positive 2x. And when we combine this, negative 40x and then the 2x, it is equal to negative 38x, which is the same as the middle term. So then we did it. We can have this, right? And then factor it to be 5x plus 2, x minus 8 equals to 0. Okay, so then we have 5x plus 2 times x minus 8 is equal to 0. The first parentheses, 5x plus 2, equals to 0, or the, another case, x minus 8 equals to 0. For this one, I will minus 2 on both sides. Cancel this, and then we get 5x equals to negative 2. And then divide both sides by 5 like this, I get x is equal to negative 2 over 5. First answer. And for the second answer, plus 8 plus 8. And I think it's just a coincidence that the example I picked so far, the second answer is usually like just a whole number, but it's not usually the case.